Welcome to Age of Invention, a series of short films by Merton Heritage Service to highlight the work of Merton's scientific and technological pioneers. This film is about Sir Ernst Boris Chain, a pioneering biochemist. Ernst was born in Germany, the son of a Jewish chemist and industrialist. He soon developed an interest in chemistry, encouraged by visits to his father's lab, and graduated with a degree in chemistry in 1930. He then began work on enzyme research at the Charité Hospital in Berlin. He was forced to flee Nazi persecution and travelled to Britain in 1933. Here he joined the School of Biochemistry at Cambridge, working with leading biochemists Sir Frederick Gowland Hopkins, studying phospholipids. These are fat molecules responsible for forming cell membranes. In 1935, Ernst moved to the William Dunn School of Pathology at Oxford. Here he joined eminent bacteriologists Alexander Fleming and Howard Florey in the research and development of penicillin, the material vital for the creation of antibiotics that we rely on so much today. This three-man team was awarded a 1945 Nobel Prize for Medicine for their groundbreaking work. For part of his life, Ernst Chain lived at Nine North View in Wimbledon, not far from Wimbledon Common. Between 1948 and 1964, Chain was the scientific director of the International Research Centre for Chemical Microbiology at the Instituto Superior di Santa in Rome. He later became chair of biochemistry at Imperial College. In addition to penicillin, Chain's research covered topics as diverse as snake venom, the development of tumours and the role of insulin. He won many awards for his work, including the prestigious Pasteur Medal and the Légion d'Honneur. He was also a fellow of the Royal Society in 1949 and was knighted for his services to science in 1969. He died 10 years later. If you would like to know more about Merton's heritage, visit our Merton Memories website at www.merton.gov.uk forward slash memories. You can also find more information at Merton Heritage and Local Studies Centre based on the second floor of Morden Library.